Friends, I am loving the gritty Detroit Tigers, and check it out, I've got a strategy for making a fun neon sign, so let's get cracking. Let's start with this material. As you can see, it's a cool blue. There are many colors. I'm going to get two meters if I ever do this again. It comes with a battery pack that lets us change modes. It does make a humming sound, but I have not found that too annoying. You can cut the LED to length, but I have not found a way to actually reuse the parts that I cut off. Of course, there will be a link in the description, and let me show you how we build it. So I'm going to start in Canva, and I'm going to use what's called an Instagram post. It's just a square area to build. We're going to move to text, and we're going to add a text box. Let's do gritty again. And let me show you how to pick a font. So when we go into here, I want something that's handwriting or calligraphy. When you check them out, you want one that you can connect. Here's my cool trick for connecting it. First, I'm going to stretch this just so it's larger for us to look at. Move it into the middle. And then we can go to the spacing. And we can simply nudge these together till they connect. If you don't like that, you can keep exploring fonts at will. One smooth one you can search for is Pacifico. For my project, I chose this fun one called Water Lily. I do want to switch it to all caps, though. Notice that does give us these fun artifacts, but I've got a cool way that we're going to solve that. I'm going to quickly grab a screenshot using Snagit. I've got a shortcut key that makes it super fast. When I hit finish, it exports a PNG directly to my screenshots folder. Now we're going to quickly bounce to Pixlr X. In Pixlr X, we are going to open that image. As I said, it's in my screenshot folder. I just have to wait a moment for it to appear. And now let's clean it up. I need the letters to be connected, filled with black, and I want these little black dots to be gone. I'm going to quickly use the erase tool. We can do that by going to drawing and choose erase. After I did this, it would actually be smarter to have done this by just painting it white, but I'll show you the step anyway. And then I'm going to go back to the brush tool. I'm going to pick the color that we need. We want to match this black. And I'm going to connect my letters. Once again, I'm going to shut off softness. That's a little larger than I want. So instead of 40, I'm going to try 30. That fits in there really nice. Right now, let's fill in, fill in, fill in. Until we get those edges that we want. I want this to be a little wider right here, so that way when it goes through, there's more room for my filament. And then we need to actually connect this spot right here. Notice I'm just clicking and drawing how those letters will connect. This also works out pretty cool because these bottoms will be closer to the same, so the design can stand up. I'm going to do that as well. And I'm going to do this right here to make this a little wider too. With just a couple clicks, I can make it look however I want. And then later in Tinkercad, I can actually trim that to make sure the bottoms are perfect. All right, with that done, let's erase that last piece. Then I'm going to switch to the Fill tool. I want to fill with the white. Let's fill in those blank areas. And I want to fix those edges. Let's go back to our Paint tool. It's already got the white. And this is where I figure out it would have been way smarter if done white from the get-go. I'm going to fix that real quick. And then also I don't like this right here. I'm going to set the size real small. Zoom in. I'm going to get rid of that. And I'll just trim this a little as well. I am happy now, so I'm going to click Save. I want a PNG. I'm going to simply hit Save As. I'm going to put it in my downloads, and I'm going to call this Gritty. And hit save. Now let's move to our next tool. This is the website Pick SVG. We're going to simply upload that picture. Of course, we are in our downloads. There is the gritty PNG. We do not want the one with the double lines, which is found using the edge. We instead want the internal, and I always use internal number two. This gets us the awesome outline, and we can simply download that SVG. I'm going to, of course, call it gritty. And I'm going to put V2 because this is my second time doing it. At this point, you can enter Tinkercad. Choose Create Brand New 3D Design. I'm going to name it Gritty LED. 
and we're going to simply import that project. There's Gritty V2. We want the art. I'm only going to make it 120 millimeters for my size across. Notice when I type that, it snaps the other as well, and we can simply hit import. We do have to wait a moment, but there it is. All right, friends, so let me show you how this works. The thickness of the LED I bought is 2.2 millimeters. So we are just going to make sure that there are four millimeters all the way around here so we can do double layers to make it fit. As you can see, the font is wide. If we just bring out a simple cube and set it on top, I'm going to look at that from an angle. You can always use a view cube. If we shift squeeze, it scales the same amount in every direction. If you type four, that is about the thickness we need for that filament to fit in every spot. So I'm just moving it close. As you can see, it's going to be all right. If this ends up being a little bit loose, we will just add a tiny bit of hot glue. As you can see, the R is where it gets a little tricky. Same as cutting through right here. But I think it's going to work just fine. I'm going to delete my little template. And we're going to do Control D to make a second one of these. We're going to take the second one and we're going to make it outer line. This will be the outside edge of our project. I'm going to simply make it one millimeter thick. I always make it round and we're going to max the quality. Instead of 10, I want that to be six millimeters. This will be the edge of our project. I am going to quickly change this height to size one for the back of the project. You can leave this hole as it is because the filament will go around. If you really want that one millimeter line there, let me show you how to fix these. I'm going to do control D, nudge that up. I'm going to make it a hole and we're going to quickly build that part by just bringing a sphere down, drop it on the workspace, and then we're going to squeeze it with the black handles till it fits in there. And then we do need the height to be the same. So by setting it to one, when we do control G to group, that makes that exact part. Now we're going to export that as an SVG, add the word part after it, then we can delete that piece and we can import that new part. We only want the art, we're going to keep the measurement. There it is. And we're going to set that to be inner line and I want it to be one. And I always want to bump up the quality. And then likely we want it to be round so that it matches. I'm going to set my nudge to 0.1. Switch to flat view, make sure I'm looking at it from the top. I'll use F to fit view, and then we can use those little arrow keys to nudge it into place. It's so darn close. I'm going to just nudge it with the handles to make sure that it fills in and touches in every direction. Of course, we do need to set that height to six. And I'm going to switch back to perspective view. Let's zoom out and check out the whole project. Gritty is now complete. I'm going to just cut in a hole so that we can add. I'm going to just quickly cut in a hole for the wires. When I bring this out, I'm going to shift squeeze it. I know that the cable is about 2.2 millimeters on each side, so I'm just going to put five millimeters here and I'm going to put it right in that corner. Once again, flat view, top view, zoom in and it lets me nudge it so I make sure I'm not touching those walls but I'm really close to them. I'll also make the sides really round. Select them and control G to group. I'll quickly switch back to perspective view. One last double check. I think this is gonna be absolutely awesome. Let's export it for 3D printing. I always choose an STL. I'm gonna put it in my 3D modeling folder and call it Gritty LED. Let's bounce to Bamboo Lab Studio, hit create new project. Add that gritty LED. All right, with it imported, I have got a bamboo orange. I think that'll be cooler since it is dealing with the tigers. Let's change filament to that orange and slice plate and print plate. It's going to take about 20 minutes, which is pretty darn awesome. And let's send it to the 3D printer. Of course, after it moves to the device menu, we just have to wait a moment for the part to download. And then we can click play and watch everything from afar. And 20 minutes later, gritty. Let's go add some LEDs. 
All right, so obviously I feed this through. I also just noticed that when I exported, I did not select that little piece, so it didn't export as well. I'm going to continue the video without it for the moment, and let me show you how we do this. So I'm pulling way more than I need through. I've got a whole bunch over here because we can trim this at the end. And then I'm going to simply start by creating this little pinched end right here. And now I can work backwards filling in all those locations just like that. It can be handy to push them in perhaps with tweezers or as you can see here I'm using a paper clip also a flathead screwdriver and every once in a while a tiny bit of hot glue. All right, so gritty is all the way through. I'm gonna clip off the extra that I don't need on that end. This is one of those wraps from a PC to hide the wire. And let's power up our new gritty sign. How cool is that? Got some little corners in here I can work on to make sure that it's looping the way I want. Maybe I add some glue and stretch it out. But friends, just like that, we have created a super fun neon sign. And of course, go Tigers. Friends, there you have it. A fun neon sign in just a few minutes. When you buy one of these with the controller, you can also switch the modes. I'm not sure if that is an upgrade. It does also go a little bit slower. And finally, off. Friends, as I wrap up, I want to say thanks to all my supporters on Patreon. I love how that's growing as a community. I also want to say thanks to you for watching this video. Every time you guys hit like, share a video, or add a comment, it's helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bit bigger. Of course, friends, have a glorious day and keep tinkering. As I wrap up, I do want to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. Obviously, I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Below that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. If you scroll down just a little bit more, you'll find my course, Tinkercad in 20 Days. I have partnered with cadclass.org. If you check out this video, it'll explain all about it. If you look right here, you'll find a coupon code for 25% off any of the amazing classes you can find at cadclass.org. Lastly, I do want to mention the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, you absolutely made my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell. It's going to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.